right guys how's it going hopefully we'll get some not get hit hopefully we'll get some uh, even better audio quality today just because I am in my wife's car so, I guess it's our car I pay for it she drives it I don't know how that works anyway um, but uh, not in the van so this obviously Subaru Outback is a lot quieter than the old E350. Let me tweak this camera just a little bit. There we go. I like that angle a little better. So headed out to pick up a couple things that I bought on OfferUp that I'm going to resell on eBay um, from something I missed it or mentioned in my other video about watching for those older listings that obviously I haven't sold yet because they're still listed. So going to do that and kind of going over something I might have mentioned but uh, my scale that I bought for FBA less than a month ago obviously had some issues or I did something weird but um, I loaded up a whole bunch of products packing packaged it all up ready to go the box fell way heavier than it should have and I put on the scale and it said 42 pounds and I said okay great and that level weight of box gets me the lowest price possible on shipping for Amazon. So I was like, score, great. But it just, it felt like more than 42 pounds in my gut. I was like, man, it's got to be more than that. So, um, leads me to my tip for the day. Trust your gut, because I take it to UPS, uh, the UPS store. Now... Where I will tell you to do it different than I did is I gave the lady the first one, she scanned it in, good to go. Gave away the second one. Uh, normally they don't double check, they don't care, they just scan it. Um, it does do something in UPS's system, I'm sure the fees would get adjusted, but they'll still ship it. But when it gets to FBA, it's going to be over the 50 pounds and you're going to be in trouble. It was 98 pounds. So I felt better because I was thinking I was going to have to go to the gym since it was that hard for me to lift a 42 pound box. But come to find out it was basically a 100 pound box. The problem is that she had already scanned it. Um, if you are at a UPS location, they can then void that tag for you and solve the problem. A UPS store, those are independent franchises, they can't do that. As soon as it's scanned, it's technically it's gone. So now i have the problem of i have this 98 pound box so i tell her okay i don't want you to ship it so um i take it home take the tracking number that information went through all the fba search features to see if there was a way to fix this couldn't find anything um, there's no way to cancel part of that order i can cancel the entire order but i already have a whole other box of items that are on their way and they're perfectly fine so uh, I had to get on chat with Amazon, gave them all my information, and then even still, they weren't able to fix it right away. They changed it to an email ticket, and then they're gonna get back with me. So I'm being proactive. I don't feel like it's gonna make my account at risk, but it is gonna cause a headache somehow in inventory. It's gonna have to get sorted out somehow. So double check your scale every now and then, make sure it's good, good on a side. I don't know if it was not level when I did it or, or I've got to figure out what's going on with it um, before I send off my next shipment. So I'm running low on boxes. I got to grab some smaller boxes um, and break that up because it's some pretty dense product, obviously, because it's not a huge box. It's just a hundred pounds. So I'll get that tied up and then create a new shipment and send it in and then see what they're going to do to correct the other part but um, pretty much that's what it is so double check your scale and make sure you're sending that in properly and you know one of the only way one of the easiest ways I could think of to double check your scale would just be to you know it shows you what you put the, the ship weight in on your label and so every so often when you're at uh, UPS just make sure that those are matching up and if not then you got a problem you need to address um, obviously I think it would have been a bigger problem if I sent FBA a 100 pound box so do your uh, QC and catch that stuff but 
anyway until next time guys have a great one keep sourcing keep selling and we will talk to you soon this is helpful uh, hit that thumbs up button like comment subscribe and uh, we'll go from there have a great one guys